action. Hey everybody, John with Alabans. I'm gonna show you how to install one up vertically on your Sherpa carrier. The first thing you need to understand is if you are doing a bike rack and you wanna install your one ups, this is a different video. You actually don't need this whole kit that comes with the one ups. This is for mounting on the horizontal bike rack. For mounting the Sherpas vertically, when you order your cable kit, which has cables that kind of look like this, um, you also will get hardware here. This hardware works the same way all one-up hardware works, and that is when you've got a one-up rack, this stuff slides right into the into this channel here, right? So these are just shorter. The ones that come with the with the one-up racks are just much longer, and you don't need them that long, especially like. On this side, they actually can get pretty close to your van. They don't touch, but it's, it's better not to use the long one. So what you do, super easy. You slot two of these in. Sometimes they stick a little bit. And then you just kind of pick a spot, kind of spaced out. I like the, the slot on top, and then maybe the slot on the bottom, and then you can get everything nice and, uh, and vertical. Just kind of hold it up there while you put the nut on the back. And the cool thing with the one-ups is you can actually, before you tighten it down, you can raise them if you want a higher departure angle or you can lower them. Uh, kind of up to you. Just kind of want to eyeball it, make sure it's vertical. And then once you get those nuts on there, you just want to tighten those nuts down with a, a 9 16 wrench and make sure that everything's nice and tight. I'm gonna do that now. You're pretty much mounted. Now that is... This is how you want it to work. And you also want to mount the vertical kit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of these. And then you have these smaller bolts Depending on where your tire sits, you kind of want to get it as far out as possible. So you just put this bolt from the inside out, right there, loop the strap through. And then you're gonna throw a wrench on that and tighten it down. And then this is gonna come up. Okay, when you're setting the cable with your, your one-up, typically you'd have both one-ups mounted, uh, which I'll do in a second here, but you want to get this kind of 90 degrees to the ground. And then once you have both cables, you want to put one of these button head bolts with a big washer through both of them. And then you want to find a hole that's kind of centered. Yeah, I'm going to lower this a little bit. So it's kind of a stretch. There you go. So if that cable stretched out a little bit, we put that on. And then we put a bolt on the, or a nut on the back side of it. You tighten that nut, and then you've got this is nice and strong. It's got a steel cable on it. And then mount the other one up. Okay, for the second one up, it's basically the same process as the first. The only difference here is that you're going to be confined to this bottom area. So when you put the bolts in for the one up, you're just going to want to space those out kind of equal distance. So I like to grab the bottom one and one of the top areas of the plate. And then once you get those in, you can actually put a nut on them loosely and then slide the carrier where you want it. I run the carriers the same height. You can run them staggered height, so you could Theoretically, run this one higher or lower if you have handlebars that you want it to not impact each other. Typically, with different bikes, you end up with kind of the randomness of the different frame geometries. The handlebars aren't exactly hitting each other anyway. But if you did have two identical bikes, um, you can either raise one of the bottom trays up a little bit or you can just slide one of the one ups up and down. And then you just tighten up the nuts on the back. Add the cable to the bottom tray the same way we did there and totally good to go.